apologies for the delay. Uh, welcome to the finishing position by having official witnesses. But yes, we don't have card services for this, but we have the fine services of multiple, multiple future years. Beards will be presenting for us with the best of their abilities, what they will have to offer for us. To start with, we're going to start with the only known bid entity we will call here, which is next year's WorldCon. <laughs> Presented here by Karin Rush. <laughs> Speaking, my, my beautiful assistant here, <coughs> passing around pens and papers for you to mark questions down. If you have questions for the well, not a bid, uh, and, and future bids as well. And uh, each bid has a set amount of time. We're running a bit late already, but we should be fine. And we're gonna get you traveling all the way to the year 2025 during these proceedings. So the presentations will come first, and then there'll be uh, time for questions. I would very, very strongly prefer to be asking questions that I've written down. If you don't have any questions, you don't need to ask them, of course. Um, <laughs> and now, my beautiful assistant will also be passing around a few copies of uh, standard sorts of questions and answers that the base have provided for us. These are also available on our website, uh, if you go look at them on the finishing position. Because we didn't want to kill all the trees, there are only about three copies per each, so we at least have some. <coughs> but here we go. And uh, now I give this over to Kathy. And I'm going to need a little assistance because I don't speak Mac. How do I advance? Just tap the other. All right. Good afternoon. Uh, if you have not met me before, I am Kevin Roach, the chair. That's not mine. That's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> I am the chair of Worldcon 76 in San Jose, which will be August 16th through 20th next year, 2018. Um, and I have only a very short presentation. Um, I hope that uh, most of your questions we have been answering along the way, and our website is being transformed as I stand here. I know it's 3 a.m. there, but they promised things would be going live as I spoke. So we will see if they oblige to you or not. First of all, I have the great pleasure today to announce to you two more guests of honor for our convention. First is artist John Picasso. Second is fan music star Frank Haynes. Who uh, is the creator of the song Never Set the Cat on Fire and has a syndrome named after him, Frank Hayes Syndrome, which is the problem of not being able to remember the words to the song that you wrote. And so uh, with the addition of John and Frank, oops. These were supposed to be sitting hidden, but this is uh, Bob Wilkins, one of our posthumous guests. Uh, he was a horror television, horror and science fiction television host in the Bay Area for many years. We lost him sadly to Alzheimer's. Pierre and Sandy, Pe Sandy Pettinger are our fan guests. Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough is another of our special guests of honor. Uh, Edgar Pangborn, um, honoring his uh, work in the Golden Age. Uh, as a ghost of honor, and Spider Robinson, who uh, was a Peter Mac when he said yes to our invitation. So uh, we have quite a constellation of guests of honor that we're very proud of. Um, so that is our big piece of news this weekend, is the two new guests. Uh, we do not plan to add any more guests of honor. We may have a few special guests that we add along the way. The other question that we have been answering, asked over and over, is about lodging and hotels for our convention. And I am happy to say that we have, oops, they're out of order. So, the other big piece of news is our prices go up in September. That's before you get your room, you do need your membership. Because our room reservations are tied to your membership status. So this is actually important. Um, on September 1st, the adult attending rate will go up. 
to 210 in the young adult, and uh, active duty military first responder rates go to 105. Uh, and the child rate goes up slightly as well. There will be, we anticipate, one more price increase before the convention. But um, these, uh, we extended our August rates um, all the way into September so that those of you who are here and talking to us can perhaps be spurred to action sooner. And I will remind you that our registration system allows you to make a deposit on your membership as long as you finish paying it by June 1st, you can lock in the August rates before the September increase. And finally, this is the slide I was looking for. Our hotels. Um, the red and orange pins are our attached properties. They are, uh, the red pin is the San Jose Marriott, the orange is the Hilton. They are attached to either end of our convention center. So they are zero meters from our convention, uh, which is the star. The Fairmont um, is the um, indigo pin. It is about 800 meters from the front door of the Marriott. That is where our parties will be. We do recognize it is the most expensive of our properties, but it's the one with rooms large enough for parties. So uh, we, we made the decision to, to move parties there. It has around uh, between 40 and 50 rooms, which are large enough to host comfortable parties. And we have 600 rooms there. So if you like the party scene, then that is where you want to stay. And then way up in the corner, the purple pin is the AC Hotel by Marriott. And uh, it's a uh, middle price in the range. Um, so if you want to be a little bit further from the matting crowd when you're not at the convention, that is a property to investigate. We also have two properties directly across the street from the convention center. The historic Weston St. Clair, which is now no longer a Weston, but it will always be the historic St. Clair because you're not allowed to take down the sign. <laughs> the sign is a historic landmark. Um, and, uh, See if I can do this without shooting myself in the other eye. And then finally, uh, the Hyatt Place, which is uh, directly across the street. The only thing between it and the convention center is a light rail station. And, uh, and that is a, uh, it's only a two-story structure. So if you want to be at ground level, uh, there are comfortable rooms right there. And they are just across the street. And that is all that I have prepared because I wanted to be able to answer questions more than anything else today. So you have a, a violet pin over there with no name next to it. What is that? That is the AC Hotel by Marriott. When we transferred my presentation from the PC to the Mac, the font changed. So the paragraphs shrank. So that is the sixth property there on the list, the AC Hotel by Marriott. And so the, the, the bluish purple is Fairmont. Fairmont. Everything has to go down. Yes. So the green East on East San Carlos, the green one is the Western? That is the St. Clair, yes. Yeah, it is changing hotel brands, but it will stay the same color. Yeah. 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 So in the back. We have to test the passkey integration with our registration system. We anticipate rooms opening this fall, uh, well before Christmas and New Year's. But we have to make sure the integration actually works. As I mentioned, it is important that you register for the um, convention because our passkey system is tied to your registration. We will be sending out a link which takes you to our reservation page. Here. Would you be able to arrange for some snow during the event? <laughs> uh, summer in August in uh, San Jose is dry, but during the daytime temperatures are 80 to 90 Fahrenheit. We get a 20 to 30 degree drop as soon as the sun sets because we get um, uh, ocean breezes which come in and cool cities. So it is actually quite pleasant uh, to be outdoors in the evening. and. I checked within a three block radius of our convention center, we now have over 60 places to eat and to drink. And if you want to spend less money, take one more block towards the San Jose State campus, and the prices drop for that. Will supporting members also be able to reserve rooms, or does it require attending membership? You have to have a membership in the system, so supporting members will also get the information. So 
Yes, but you have to have registered at least as supporting in order to be um, on our walk. That is my question. All right. Yes. Are you guys going to be controlling the party suites, or is it fair about that? We will be controlling suite reservations. The mechanism is still being developed, but uh, we've been very clear that we are doing that. We are being blocked. We believe into the new, newer South Tower of the Fairmont, so that we will actually have a fan city in the South Tower. Uh, I believe that isn't that right. That was the uh, agreement we made. And, uh, and we have a good team uh, riding herd on the Fairmont. So uh, uh, we've had experience with them, and we know what to watch for and how to deal with them. Will there be any transportation between the two? Uh, I actually have a brilliant uh, member services team, and that's already on his list to look at. It is about 800 yards between the two front doors. So it's not too bad, and, and it's flat. Downtown is very flat. One more question. One more question. Anyone? Uh, I will. We've, the other question, thing we've been asking a lot, on, asked a lot online, is when do dealers room, art show, and other information go live? That is part of what is going live this weekend, including the application forms. So, uh, and we are doing juried uh, vendors. So uh, it is not first come, first serve. So just because you're here and my crew are um, in California, does not mean you miss out if you don't sign up this weekend. Thank you.